Welcome to the shop everyone. Uh, today's video is going to be part one of port matching the intake to the cylinder heads. So we're going to take the intake manifold and get them to line up with those ports on that cylinder head. I'm going to use some red dicum, a good square, something to scribe with, a straight edge, and the gaskets to get the thickness I'm going to need for the spacers I'm going to use. All right, so let's get some of that red dicum and go ahead and paint up those ports. Now the ports, I'm gonna, you know, paint them up and go all the way to the top, as high as I can go on the cylinder head. And I'm also gonna do each end of the cylinder head too. So anyways, the vertical lines, I'm hoping when I paint them all the way to the top like that, that I'll be able to scribe the vertical lines to the top and then the horizontal lines on the ends of the heads. So when I stick the intake manifold on there, you'll still be able to see the scribe marks. All right, so I'm gonna take that straight edge and I'm gonna put it on the bottom of the intake ports, horizontal lines. When I get lined up, I'm gonna scribe it all the way to the end of the head both sides that way, make sure it doesn't slip. Alright, do the top of the ports the same way. So these scribe marks here will show me on the end when I sit the intake manifold on there where the ports line up. So we've got the horizontal lines. Let's do the vertical lines. Just go to the edge of the port. And so I'm hoping when I stick the intake manifold on there with the uh, spacers I'm going to use that I'll still be able to see the scribe marks and I'll be able to transfer those scribe marks onto the intake manifold itself. Alright, so there we go. There's the horizontal, the vertical. So we've got that part all scribed out so we know where the port location is on the cylinder heads. So I was able to run to the hardware store and get some washers. And they measure to be about the same thickness as the intake manifold gaskets. Perfect. So I'm going to take some silicone and I'm going to put it on the back side of the washers and stick them on the cylinder heads. Now, I looked at the intake manifold itself and I wanted a good flat surface for it to sit on those washers. So I found it, the, I don't know, the screw bolt holes that I'm going to line them up with. Putting them on the heads and making sure the hole is concentric with the hole where the intake manifold bolt goes through. And that will mimic the thickness of the intake manifold gasket without the uh, gasket covering up all my scribe lines on the cylinder heads. There we go. Got them stuck on there. I'll let that sit up for a little bit so they'll stay in place when I put the intake on there. So let's get that intake manifold all dicumed up so we can transfer the scribe lines onto it when we set it on there. 
So of course I'm going to do the uh, front and back side of it for the horizontal lines. somewhere around the intake manifold where the, the scribe mark won't transfer over nicely. As long as I can get a couple good scribe marks, I can actually get measurements off the cylinder head itself and finish them out as far as on the intake manifold when I scribe it out for the porting of it. transferred from the cylinder heads onto the top and front and back of the intake manifold then I'll take those lines and tra transfer them onto the ports themselves so we know where to grind them out to to get them to match nicely with the uh, cylinder head ports. set up so let's set it on there now I wasn't sure if I was gonna have to mill the intake or not but the way the bolt holes line up with the intake holes uh, it, it, it's in, it's fine so I'm gonna take that and I'm gonna transfer the scribe marks onto the intake two center ones I can't really get because of that boss there, but I'll be able to measure with my calipers to locate those. Alright, there we go. There's the horizontal lines. There's the vertical lines. take off there and see if we can't transfer those lines to the ports. So I took that straight edge and I went with the horizontal lines that were on the bottom and then I'm going with the vertical line and I'm just using that to keep it good and square. Now the center section on the port because of that boss there I wasn't able to transfer the scribe well so I'll get a measurement off the cylinder head itself to uh, get those. themselves. And I'll transfer it over onto the intake manifold. A couple marks on there. Use that square to give me a good straight edge. Alright, 
we got the scribe lines transferred so that intake will line up nicely with the ports on the cylinder heads. Looks good. So the radius on the inside of the gasket, I found a, a washer that would fit that well. And I'm going to use that washer to scribe the curve that I'll need to grind on the intake manifold to match the, the gasket. gasket on there to see how it conforms to it oh it looks nice so that intake's gonna fit really nicely on those cylinder heads when I get done porting it all right so we got everything scribed out we have the location we needed on the intake manifold now to know where to grind to on the cylinder head and on part two we'll be just grinding away and getting that intake manifold all ground out and matched to the cylinder heads and if you guys enjoyed today's video, please hit that like, uh, subscribe if you'd like to, ring the bell, share it, do all those things. And as always, we appreciate y'all so much for watching, and we hope to see y'all on the next video. Thanks so much.